Hey everybody, it's Cassie with Kenner Professional. I'm really excited. We're gonna be doing a blonde refresh on my model Ashani today. I'm gonna to be doing a few highlights, but I'm going to also be using our new base breakers. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks and how to use it. I'm really excited to get started. Let's go. So to get started, first and foremost, I had a conversation with Ashani about what she wanted her goals to be with her blonde hair. Most importantly, she wanted to get something that blended out the old color from previous. So she's got a little bit of natural regrowth here and then also kind of blend out some of these brighter blonde pieces. So I'm taking my sections, I'm only gonna be working in the front compartment. I'm taking a diagonal forward from the high point of her head to the front of the ear, and I'm just gonna be working in a diagonal back sectioning just to freshen up the highlights and give it a cleaner palette. So where she has this money piece, I'm just gonna mimic that same thing. I'm gonna take nice, tight, close sections back to back and two to three foils just to brighten that up and then move further back as I move back through the head. So today I'm going to be working through with our Simply Blonde Beyond Bond Lightener to give her some highlights through the top, just to give it a little bit more connection with what's going on in the ends. I like working in a diagonal pattern. This allows me to get a much softer lay when it's finished. And also too, it's kind of a great universal placement for anyone. It's not really about adding the illusion of more fullness or less fullness. It's more about just really giving it a lot of movement. And with her hair, that's what we're looking for. Just something that's really soft and blended to the previous tones. So again, in the front where she has this money piece, we're just going in almost back-to-back -back sections here, like not leaving hardly any space out. We just wanna really brighten that up and just refresh it for her. I'm taking nice, small sections so that we get a nice, clean, even lift. So in the top section here, I just split the rest of that back and take this section together. Just weave off the top of that. So now we're gonna let her develop. I'm looking to match this nice, bright vanilla blonde with her highlights. That's the goal. And then again, the goal on the back half will be to make her base match these deeper, more golden tone blondes. So I've achieved my goal of this nice vanilla blonde highlight. So we're ready to pull the foils. We're gonna get her shampooed and then do the base breaker. Before we start with the base breaking, I'm gonna detangle her ends with a Lux One Leave-In. This will help it go through much smoother. I'll be able to work through the sections much faster. And truly with fine hair, fast is the key. Now, when I'm applying the product, you can see that she has about a half inch to an inch of natural regrowth. She has a natural level here, about a seven, and then her mid length have a little bit of lightening already. I'm going to paint just past, feathering past that base point, again, to give it a nice soft blend as I lift through and break that base. Again, the whole goal is to just freshen up her blonde result all over, making her look as though she has this nice, natural, warm tone blonde base and bright highlights. One of the things that I've done to make sure that I am giving myself the barriers needed for fine hair so it doesn't overdevelop is I'm working on her hair damp and I'm also working with the 10 volume so that I can get the product on very quickly. It's gonna do what it needs to do and I still have the control of the product and can rinse out quickly. Today I'll be using the pool because she is a natural level seven and I'm gonna be using this with 10 volume because her hair is very fine. Most importantly, you never wanna leave your base breaker on more than five minutes. 
Uh, the thing that makes Space Bakers really work is how it works with the natural eumelanin phase of the hair. So if you let it sit too long, it's going to get past that eumelanin phase, which is those cool tone phase of the hair, into that warm phase of the hair, and that's where you end up blorange. The goal for me when using a base breaker is always about matching a tonal blonde, right? So when I see a blonde like this, I see a lot of tones in here. A base breaker is great for getting you to that darkest blonde in your blondes. The idea is that, oh, she just grows out blonde and then just happens to get a few highlights. So we have two options when dealing with base breakers. We have cool and extra cool. The nice thing about these is it deals with different types of bases. So our cool is made great for clients who come in with a level seven or lighter, whereas your extra cool is gonna be great for those clients between a level five and a level seven. Now, technically, on somebody with fine hair like hers, the goal is gonna be done in five minutes. So this is our final look. I am super happy at how this turned out. What's so great is that it took almost no time to do. It was a quick foil and a quick five minute base break with our cool base breaker. I can't believe the results. I'm so happy. Ishani, what do you think? I love it, yeah, it looks amazing. A whole blonde <laughs> refresh in almost like no time at all. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe below. We are so glad you hung out with us today. We'll see you next time.